Good morning. We were supposed to go home today, but they got us going to swap out with somebody bringing a load from Salt Lake City. And uh, this load I got right now is going back to Salt Lake City, so we're going to meet them probably <clears throat> somewhere in Missouri, I hope. I hope they're rolling. I hope they're not just sitting somewhere waiting on us. Uh, Got to go on this weekend. My daughter is moving to Florida and taking three of the grandkids with her. Uh, they're going to go down and go to a uh, college, uh, like a Pentecostal or charismatic college. Anyway, that brings me to a, the subject I... Uh, um, KJV Reviews, Joey Robbins, uh, gave an exercise the other day on comparing a couple scriptures. And one of the scriptures he gave was uh, 2 Timothy 3.13. And uh, it says something to the effect of uh, that in the last days men will wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. And uh, he asked the question uh, to compare that with uh, 1 Corinthians. Ah, man, I can't, I can't think of the verse uh, where it says that, uh, talks about them corrupting the Word of God. Anyway, I wanted to focus on uh, 2 Timothy 3.13 because in, uh, men will wax worse and worse. <laughs> towards the end time. Sorry about that. I hate this. Everything beeps. Um, and that has been proven a fact. Uh, the Bible says that Satan himself can be transformed into an angel of righteousness. So it's no wonder that his ministers can too. And I am more and more convinced, and I know I've harped on this uh, in my last video, but I'm really concerned about it. I really have a burden for my daughter and her family. <clears throat> but uh, I am totally convinced that this charismatic movement is a deception uh, brought on by Satan and wolves in sheep clo clothing because... Uh, You got, I mean, it's just, this is why it's so important, folks, to uh, read your Bible and to understand your Bible, to have a final authority. And I'm talking about, of course, the King James Bible. But that's why you have to have, uh, God had to preserve his word. You're going to be judged by that word, so he's got to leave it here on earth. And in the ling English language, of course, it's in the King James Bible version in my humble opinion but uh people are being deceived when that when the disciples went up on uh on the mount to talk to jesus and that they asked him what uh what will be the sign of the end of the world and the first thing jesus said is let no man deceive you And in Timothy, Paul again is reasserting that men will wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. So you're going to have a deception. Uh, there's all kinds of deception, of course. There's uh, deception in the church. There's deception in the world. Uh, Satan... He's got that evolution. That's a deception. There's a lot of deceptions uh, that are going on. So, sorry, I'm trying to figure out. I'm coming into Crashville, Tennessee. And so they're being deceived. My daughter and her husband have been deceived. And the reason being, I keep praying about it, 
is they know not the scriptures nor the power of God, just like Jesus said. They think the power of God is touching somebody on the head and them falling down and wallowing on the floor. Uh, God has nothing to do with that. They believe that uh, the power of God is when they speak in tongues and they feel this power in them. That has nothing to do with the power of God. It has nothing to do with the Holy Spirit of God. Uh, he, God Almighty, left you his word. He speaks to you with his word. He holds his word higher than his name. And the name that is above every name is Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit of God came not to glorify himself, but to lift up the name of Jesus Christ. He said that when he comes upon you, he will, uh, when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, he will guide you unto all truth. These people are deceived. I truly believe, now I don't believe that people that go to the charismatic church or the Pentecostal church are walking in there knowingly uh, worshiping Satan or knowingly uh, I believe they truly think that they're serving God. And that's what is so sad about it, is they have been deceived. And the reason they've been deceived and uh, is because they don't know the Word. They do not understand the Bible. They do not know how to rightly divide the word of truth. The Bible says only the King James Bible, by the way, says study. It's a command to study, not only to read that Bible, but to study that Bible. Study to show yourself approved. If you're not in that book, if you get your worship and your uh, spoon-fed everything by preachers, you are going to be deceived. If your knowledge of the scripture only comes from a man uh, behind a pulpit, uh, that uh, what's the difference between that than having a priest and a pulp? There's no difference whatsoever. So when you read the Bible, the scriptures for yourself, people died to give you those scriptures. Jesus died to give you those scriptures because in the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God and the Word was God. But there were men that translated it into the English language that perished, that were killed, and they went down as martyrs because of that Word, because it was so true, that Word. Now you got deceivers uh, in every denomination, not just the Pentecostal. Uh, there's been Baptist uh, preachers that are definitely uh, not of God. I think of that guy in Tucson, Arizona. I think of the guy that uh, held... Uh, I went to a college, a Bible college, and the president of the college... Uh, turned out to be a child molester so I understand uh, there's people there's wolves in sheep clothing in every single uh, denomination more than likely all of them but you, the way you're not deceived the way you can keep from being deceived is the Bible the uh King James Bible, of course, if you're speaking English. But look at, uh, I'm going through at home, I'm going through uh, Psalm 119. And that whole Psalm, the longest chapter in the Bible is Psalm 119. And it's all about the Word of God. You see, you got to have a final authority. If your final authority is some prophet or some 
uh, witch uh, or some guru, then he can change what he's saying day by day. And if you're truly following this guy, uh, he will deceive you. But if you're following the Word of God, the unchanging Word of God, words, plural, of God, you'll never be deceived. And if you are, uh, you'll be taken off by your own lust. If you'll truly just believe what God says, where He says it, you got to rightly divide the Word of Truth, folks. You can't take something uh, that was given to the Jew and apply it to the church age or vice versa. Uh, have you not heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, Paul said, that was given to me? My gospel, he called it. It was because it was given by revelation to Paul himself. Uh, these people in the, uh, the, this charismatic movement, or at least the one that they're going to, uh, they're all about feelings, about uh, exalting uh, the Holy Spirit of God, which, trust me, I'm not saying you should not worship the Holy Spirit of God. What I'm saying is the Holy Spirit of God is here to lift up Jesus, to bring the message of Christ. He's not here to uh, lift himself up. So, every time I see one of those doves, <laughs> you pretty much can tell what kind of church that is. Anyway, I know I'm ranting about uh, the charismatic movement, but I'm really burdened about my, my kid and the grandkids uh, that are going to be raised up with us. So keep them in your prayers. Uh, we need to remember uh, Carla Keck uh, uh, her she, her mother's uh, going through uh, I think like Alzheimer's and she's being uh, quite cruel uh, to her father and uh, it's a burden to her also uh, keep uh, Gypsy Lane in your prayers she's again dealing with a father that's uh, you know, slipping, his mind slipping, and uh, boy, I understand it, my mom, <laughs> same deal, so uh, I do understand that, remember, uh, Joseph Dunn, uh, he asked for prayer for his health, uh, his blood pressure, and uh, let's keep his father in our prayers, and his uh, entire family, uh, remember, uh, Justin uh, of Just a Soldier, Justin Valdez, uh, Just a Soldier, 1611. Uh, he's trying to get moved down to Florida, so let's keep him in our prayers that he can uh, get the funds or whatever it takes uh, to do that. And if you have any prayer requests, please leave them in the comments. And, uh, Remember, folks, to read those Bibles. I, I say that over and over, but it is the most important thing the Christian can do. How do you keep from being deceived? You know that word. You can say, whoa, 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 you're going off there now. Just because you have the words, the words of God. If you don't have the words of God, then you could get in trouble. If there's any mistake in that book, if it's deceptive in any way, then you do not have the words of God, which I, I know without a shadow of a doubt in my own heart and soul that you do have the words of God in the English language in the King James Bible. Uh... His words are pure words. Uh, tried in a furnace of earth seven times. You, they don't get any more pure than that. You have to understand. You have to have a final authority. If you have the ability to change the word of God, the word of God loses the ability to change you. So 
read that Bible, study that Bible, believe that Bible, and pray without ceasing.